Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and today I'm going to be showing you our latest prank app. This has been a highly requested app idea, and basically it lets you play a prank on your friends, and it's also pretty easy to get out of or to fix, so let me just get right into it. Here's the app, you can download it in the description of the video, it's called Prank Export. So let me just open it up. Alright, so basically what this app does is you can make a fake app, essentially. Now, the app can look as if it's an image file or a video file, or you can make it look like iChat, Safari, Mail, or you can give it your own icon. So really, you can set any title you want, and you can drag an icon right here, if, or an image right here if you want to set a custom icon. But here are some of the defaults. So uh, for the purposes of this example, I'm going to just be acting as if I want to create a fake picture. So I'll name it picture one. That's a pretty common name for a picture. I'll just click image and you'll see the picture icon is right there. So now I'll click export. I'll save it to my desktop and I'll call it picture one.app. Now, realistically, if you want to send this to your friend uh, through iChat or email, you're going to want to zip it. To do that, you can right click or hold control while clicking and then click on compress. Now that'll generate a zip file. You just hit enter and rename it to uh, .zip, get rid of the .app there. So you could send this file to someone through iChat or whatever email and uh, they'll just unzip it and open it. And so basically what happens when someone opens this is nothing seems to happen, nothing seems to change at first, but then when they start to move their mouse, all these error windows come up. So you can see like if I try to, I can still use my computer, I can like open up a folder and I can like go to here and see some things, I can search stuff in Spotlight, like yeah, but the only problem is that all these windows are cluttering up my workspace a little bit, so uh, it, it's, it's really, it makes your computer unusable. So this would be a good time right now when the person has a ton of error windows and they're panicking that you uh, get them out of this. Now I did say there was an easy way to get out of this, and there is. All you have to do is press Control alt enter and it'll just go away. So that is how to uh, get out of the prank. Now. There are other example, other usages of this other than just sending someone a fake picture. So let's say I'm on my friend's computer and he's not there for whatever reason. So I just download Prank Export and uh, I decide that I'm going to make uh, replace his iChat in his dock with a fake little prank. So I'll just click on the iChat button here to set the icon to iChat. And then I'll name the app title iChat. I'll export it to my desktop and call it iChat.app. Now here it is. We know already that this is our prank because we made it with this. So on his dock, I'll, I would just drag off the, re the real iChat, then drag on your fake iChat. Then when he clicks on iChat in the dock, nothing seems to happen. He starts moving his mouse and the pop-ups come up. And uh, once again, it's an ideal thing to get out of this eventually. So you press Control alt enter Easy way to escape. So uh, that is a prank that we've made. Please use it responsibly. Don't um, install it on someone's computer and put it in their login items or something like that because we're not responsible for anything bad that happens. You are. So I would try to stay out of trouble. But yeah, it's pretty funny to do this to your friends. Anyway, you can check this out in the description. So thanks for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.